Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, Summer 2018, Question 9. We want to prove from first principles that the differential of cos theta with respect to theta is equal to minus sine theta. We can assume the formula for cos a plus or minus b, and we can also assume that as h tends towards 0, sine h over h will tend towards 1, and cos h minus 1 all over h will tend towards 0. So firstly, we're going to use our formula for differentiating from first principles. So the differential of cos theta with respect to theta is going to equal the limit, as h tends towards 0, of cos theta plus h minus cos theta all over h. Now using our formula for cos a plus or minus b, we can change cos theta plus h into cos theta cos h minus sine theta sine h, which gives us this fraction here. Now the first and third terms on top of that fraction have both got cos theta in them, so we can factorise these, which gives us the limit as h tends towards 0 of cos h minus 1 times cos theta minus sine theta sine h all over h. Splitting these up gives us the limit as of cos h minus 1 over h times cos theta minus the limit of sine h over h sine theta. But we're told at the beginning that cos h minus 1 over h tends towards 0, sine h over h tends towards 1, so this will tend towards 0 times cos theta minus 1 times sine theta, which is minus sine theta as required. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.